Unit 4, Lesson 2, Example 2. This video will focus on using the flow proof method for proving these two triangles congruent. Again, the process of annotating the diagram will stay the same, so LNM, angle LNM is congruent to LNO, so I've marked that on my diagram. Additionally, they give me that MN is congruent to NO, and I've marked that on my diagram. So if I notice, I have a side and an angle. So again, our only method is side, angle, side. So I'm going to have to get another side. And again, that side has to form the angle that I have, which is right here, which would be LN. So using the flow proof, um, I like to always start with putting what I need to prove at the bottom for the flow proof. So that would be triangle LMN is congruent to triangle LON. And how do we know that? We know that's going to be by side, angle, side. And because that's our only method right now. Um, as we progress through the unit, there will be other methods, and so we won't know that right away. So I'm going to need a side, an angle, and a side. And from my given information, I have a side. MN is congruent to ON, and that was given. I have an angle as well, so angle LMN is congruent to angle LNO, and that was given. And so I, what I'm missing is the, um, the next side, which would be LN is congruent to itself, which from our unit 2 information we know is reflexive property. And that's it. You could state your given together. Um, some people like to state them separately so they can see distinctly the side, the angle that they were given. Um, for part B, that's still going to be the same. Nothing's going to change for that. A reflection over LN would map triangle LON onto triangle LMN.